everyone. Welcome to another Animation Friday. I apologize, this video has to unfortunately be uploaded late. I was so busy over this um, week and technically this current week as well. Um, and I unfortunately did not have time to sit down and um, collaborate all of the videos that I want to get caught up on doing till now. So, but anyways, without further ado, let me address what I really wanted to talk about for this Animation Friday. And that's the uh, animated film. You can almost call it a short film since I believe it's roughly under an hour. Um, but it is titled Annabelle's Wish. This one, I think, is one that I remember uh, at least th uh, exploring throughout my childhood. Um, I think because it uh, has this sort of unique uh, tale to it that although there may be certain simplicities in the way it is overall executed, it still seems to maintain, I think, a certain level of creativity and uh, heart as well that I think is really uh, essential, at least around this time of year. So um, this particular film centers around a calf named Annabelle who um, grows the desire to want to become a reindeer. Now this might be a little bit on the bizarre side considering the fact that we've never really seen uh, this kind of a um, story as to an animal wanting to become like another animal. Um, that's sort of a little bit strange when you look at the realistic uh, implications of it because it's almost like trans species almost. But at the same time, um, you know, despite her uh, wanting to have this uh, desire, uh, you do see how ultimately she ends up forming a relationship with the farmer's grandson that she's technically a part of as a calf. And uh, she sort of realizes the true uh, importance of friendship and looking beyond her own uh, selfish desires and whatnot. So I think that's really um, something that is really true to the heart of the holidays. And um, I think it reigns true to the ideas of that we always think about what we want for the holidays, but then we never necessarily look into what other people want, or when we do, we're always afraid that we won't get what other people want. Um, so I think this kind of approach of looking at things through a more um, uh, different perspective, and in doing so, pay sort of uh, tribute to the idea of its uh, time of giving and reflecting on to, to others um, is something that I think is really at the core of this particular film because you'll see how um, the grandson in particular uh, is mute and you'll sort of realize as to why he is the way he is. And also Annabelle is given the ability to talk, um, which further cements the relationship between the grandson and her since she can communicate with him. Um, and it also, I think, shows people too that, um, you know, if we look beyond just ourselves, um, naturally good things come to us in return. Um, and as you see the plot progress, you will understand this uh, point that I'm sort of getting across with um, uh, Annabelle uh, having that uh, ultimate wish of wanting to uh, experience life as a reindeer. Um, and although, again, like I've said before, the concept may be a little bit uh, strange to some considering the fact that yeah coming or wanting to be something that's completely not who you are is maybe a little bit too 
bizarre in its nature, and I can understand that, and that's something, too, that kind of a little bit throws me off. But despite that, I still think that the whole overall thematic messages of, you know, looking beyond the um, the wants and the desires and seeing the uh, importance of relationships and whatnot uh, is, I think, uh, something that's really a huge part of what the film is ultimately trying to get across. And I don't think not so much about, you know, really the the, the, the strangeness behind her uh, desire. But I could kind of understand um, being somewhat similar to a reindeer, because again, it's not like calves are like, I don't know, dolphins or something, you know. Uh, they, they look a lot actually even like reindeer. Um, you'll even see how she tries to sort of have um, antlers and, you know, you can kind of uh, see um, that, see the, the reasons as to why she wants to ultimately become that, uh, especially in considering the fact that Santa even comes into the picture here. So again, it is relatively simple in that it is not a really complex children's film by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but despite that, I think it's overall uh, tone and the way it approaches the whole situation, I think, is one that is on the more creative and childlike side and I think is something that, again, children can actually relate to. Um, but that's my overall um, thoughts on this particular uh, short animated film. Uh, and again, I think this one tends to get overlooked as far as holidays are concerned, considering the fact that, again, it's not from a big or budget studio and whatnot. Um, but I still remember it being fairly, uh, at least recognized within my childhood, but not, I don't think, as emphasized as much anymore uh, when you really look at um, the, or at least other uh, animated related content that is reflective onto the holiday season. But again, I think that's really ultimately all I can say, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.